application of Go's law. Example 3. An infinite plane carries a uniform surface charge sigma. Fine, it is electric field. This is the infinite sheet. It carries a uniform surface charge sigma. In order to find the electric field by using Gauss law, we need to consider a Gaussian pillbox and this is the Gaussian pillbox. This Gaussian pillbox is the end. Half of the portion of the pillbox is above the sheet and half of the portion of the pillbox is below the sheet. This pillbox has a property half of the pillbox is above the sheet and half of the pillbox is below the sheet. Draw a Gaussian pillbox extending equal distances above and below the plane. We know what is a pillbox. We know what is a pill. Some people may need to take several medicines, several pills a day on different time. So to reduce the confusions, they can use this type of pillboxes. So it's a rectangular box, it has a lid. We need to just consider a rectangular box. That's it. So here it is a just a rectangular box and that rectangular box is called Gaussian box. It extends equal distances above and below the plane. Apply Gauss law to the surface. We have Gauss law. Gauss integral e dot dA equal to 1 by epsilon 0 Q enclosed. Now we need to find Q enclosed. We know for Gaussian surface, the surface area is given as A. The surface area is A and the charge density is sigma. So Q enclosed equal to sigma A. Where A is the area of the lid of the pillbox. So we can substitute sigma A instead of Q enclosed. So the Gauss law becomes closed integral E dot dA equal to 1 by epsilon 0 sigma A. So instead of Q enclosed, we just substituted this part. Now we need to find the LHS of Gauss law. Let us consider this Gaussian pillbox. The area of this surface is A and there will be one more surface on the bottom. Let us discuss the upper and lower surface. These sides we can discuss later. By symmetry, electric field point vertically upward or vertically downward. So it points away from the plane, upward for the points above and downward for the points below. So, for the bottom and top surfaces, we can write an integral e dot dA equal to e dA cos theta as theta equal to 0, it is equal to e dA cos 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. We can take e outside, so this will be the equation. We know that integral dA is equal to A. For upper surface there is one A and for lower surface there is another A. So, total equal to 2A. So the equation for upper and lower surface will be equal to 2a into e. Now we consider the case of the sides. For the sides, uh, we can write integral e dot dA equal to e dA cos 90. As cos 90 is equal to 0, for the sides the value will be equal to 0. That means the side contribute nothing. Thus, the equation can be rewritten like this. This term will be replaced by this. Now we can rearrange the equation that is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 sigma a into 1 by 2a a and a will be cancelled together so equal to sigma by 2 epsilon 0 in vector form we can take the direction also equal to sigma by 2 epsilon 0 and cap